Hi all, welcome to my channel. I'm Will Wyvern. Today I want to talk about what is dark magic and I'm going to let you all look inside my dark book of shadows. Now, first of all, these are my thoughts, my opinions, my beliefs. This is, this is what works for me. I share with you so you can develop your own practice, what you like in your practice, what works for you. Now, dark magic. There are a hundred different different definitions for it. Everyone you ask will have a different answer. It's what works for you. As I've said before, there is no dictionary of terms for witchcraft, Wicca, paganism, heathenism. It's all what works for you. So you can go on Facebook and look for dark magic. You can go to Wikipedia and look for dark magic. You can come here to Will Wyvern and listen to what I have to say about dark magic. Ultimately, you're going to pick what works for you. Because for some people, dark magic is using magic to coerce or influence someone. For some people, dark magic is like black magic. You're actually Satanism. You're worshiping the devil. Some people, it's you're practicing forbidden magic. Some people, it's magic you do at night. Every, I can go on for a hundred different, de different definitions. The definition that Will Wyvern likes, I'm not saying this is right or wrong, but this is what's right for me. Dark magic is magic that will ultimately hurt someone. It will cause pain, suffering, some type of anguish. It's something that is done that will result in the pain of someone else. And it's not pain that you cause. It's pain that the other person caused. And because they have disturbed the balance of the universe, because they have disturbed what's right and wrong, what's good and bad, what's order and chaos, they deserve what's coming to them. That is what I believe. And again, I'll quote uh, an Appalachian witch I met a few years ago. She said, if you piss in my garden, I'm going to take a shit in yours. If you do something wrong to me, that gives me the right to do something wrong to you. Now, I don't believe that exactly. What I believe is if you do something bad to me, I have every right to do something that's going to result in your pain. Be it reversing that damage that you wished on me, reflecting that damage that you wished on me. I'm not, I'm not going to generate the energy to cause you pain. I'm going to take the energy that you generated to cause me pain and I'm going to turn it around back on you. So I'm not doing anything to directly hurt you. I'm doing something to reflect or turn back that negativity onto the originator, onto the person who sent that to me. The person who is trying to hurt me, it's going to come right back on you and hurt you. And I don't see anything wrong with that. Ultimately, the universe decides what's right and what's wrong, what it's going to allow to happen, and that's what, I already did a video on this before, jinxes, hexes, curses, those are things you do that may result in injury, harm, pain to someone else, and again, I think that's okay if I'm not using energy, I'm not going to go out and say, man, I don't like that person. I'm going to cast a hex or a curse on them. Or that person's ugly. I'm going to cast a curse or a spell on them. The only time I use dark magic is as a reaction. I'm never proactive with dark magic. I'm only reactive with dark magic. There's a difference. Proactive, you're making the first move. Reactive, you're reacting. So that's what dark magic is to me. I am reacting to something that you've done to me to cause harm or cause pain or cause suffering, and I'm going to reflect it back to you. 
That's Will Wyvern's definition of dark magic. I don't like using dark magic, but I have no qualms about using dark magic. I have used it before. I know I will use it again, but that's my definition of dark magic. As always, you're going to hear a hundred different definitions. People are going to say, nope, that's wrong or nope, you know, that's incorrect. But it's what works for you. Don't let anybody convince you they're right. Sit down, meditate, ask your God, your goddess, your deity, look inside yourself. What is dark magic to you? What do you, what definition fits your beliefs the best? And then whatever that is, do you want to do dark magic or do you never want to do dark magic? Do you think people who do dark magic are evil? Do you think people who do dark magic are heroes? It's up to you. Don't let anyone else convince you what you think is right and what you think is wrong. People are going to try. People will try to tell you they're right and everybody else is wrong. You have to find out what's right for you. So that's my definition of dark magic. Now, here's my dark book of shadows. And um, the reason why I used a black book was just symbolic to me. I'm, I'm doing something dark. Now, one of the first spells I learned was, I already talked about this, reflection. It's using that energy that they sent to me, and I'm just going to reflect it back to them. And real quick, let me just kind of go over this. This is a spell to reflect harmful or bad intentions back to the owner, back to the originator. And what I use, a mirror, a candle, paper with the person's name on it, and an item of iron. Now let's go over these, a, a mirror, symbolic, I'm reflecting that back on them. A candle, paper with a person's name. Now this is something I think is really important. You need to know who this is that you're reflecting that energy back on. I believe the universe doesn't want us haphazardly, randomly, doing magic on other people, especially dark magic or bad magic or evil magic, whatever you want to call it. The universe wants to make sure that you are justified in what you're doing. If I try to do a reflection spell just on somebody random, the universe isn't going to like that. The universe is going to be like, what, what are you doing, Will? You know, that's, that's not right. But if somebody starts spreading my name through the mud or they're trying to deceive other people about me, or they're actually trying to put a curse or a hex or something on me, and I know who this person is, and I write their name on a piece of paper, the universe knows, okay, Will knows what he's doing. He's targeting that person who actually hurt him. So that's why I believe in writing down their name on a piece of paper. And then you're just gonna take that, you're gonna light the candle, um, put the paper on the mirror, because that's who you want to reflect the damage on. And you're going to say something like, bad energy you send, I reflect to you. None will reach me, all, re all will return to you. And then you're going to light the uh, piece of paper from that candle and then hold on to the piece of iron because with iron, you're going to be grounded, you're going to be protected. And then once that paper's aflame, you're just going to watch it burn down from that smoke, you're going to blow it back to the universe. And that's symbolizing you're blowing that smoke to the universe, returning that energy back to the other, per the bad person, the person who originated it. You're reflecting it all back to them. I'm not using any of my energy. I'm just reflecting that energy back to you. And then you'll say something like, your desire to harm will not succeed. All will be reflected to you. It is, it is returned. And then you're going to return all that energy back to that person. That's a sample spell. Um, here's something else I did. I was talking about using a pentagram, five points, five lines, five powers, earth, wind, fire, water, spirit. Embrace all when you're doing the dark magic. You can, you can pull down all that energy to augment the spell to return that energy to the, the person. You're not using your energy, but you're using the universe. And again, the universe is going to decide if you're successful or not. Another thing. Okay, here's something I wrote. 
The universe is balance. You do good to me, I will do good to you. You fuck me over, I will fuck you harder. By breaking the balance, you invoke added pain. What that means to me, if you start something, I can finish it, and I have every right to do whatever the heck I want. I can exceed the balance. I don't have to do an equal amount of damage to you. I can go ahead and augment that damage to do more harm to you. I believe that. We must live together. If you choose to cause harm, the universe sees that and allows revenge. I have the right and duty to protect myself and mine. All gloves are off for me to do what I need. And I believe that. Dark magic. All right, here's another one. This is a spell to make someone cry. This is, again, dark magic because you're causing that pain. And real quick, glass of water, salt, a blue candle, pen and paper. Light the candle, add salt to the water. As this salt makes tears, I ask for your pain. Cry, cry, cry. Write their name on the paper, light it, blow smoke to the sky. As rain falls, so will tears. Cry, cry, cry. You reap what you sow. Cry, cry, cry. Another a very simple spell. Here's one I talked about. Um, it's called an oversleep jinx. Remember, jinx, hexes, and curses. Jinxes are like, you know, a few hours to a couple days. Um, hexes are things that might last a, a, a full season. And curses are things that may last for many generations. So an oversleep jinx is just something that you may put on someone to make them oversleep. To be late for work, to be late for an appointment, to miss something. You're just putting a jinx to make them oversleep. And that's a sample spell. Here's another one. Honor, honoring the old gods. These are the gods of our ancestors. They may not be the gods that you worship now or the deities that you call on for assistance, but this is just something about honoring the old gods of our ancestors. Um, here's something cool. This is a just a sample image I did because sometimes when I'm getting ready to, uh, to do magic, I need to get my mind in the right spot. I need to meditate and sometimes I'll just draw an image and I'll focus on that image, I'll look at that image and that'll help me get into the spot. And spirals like this and circles, I just follow them with my eyes until I'm into that zone, into the space to do magic. Um, here's one to cause heartache. Now, this is almost like a, um, a bind, breaking a binding spell that you want to cause heartache on someone, someone who's caused heartache to you, you want to cause heartache to them. Um, that one, it's kind of funky. Here's another picture I drew, just something to focus. Um, okay, this is the last one. We'll do this. This one's kind of heavy. This one's called the sever spell. This is when someone is abusing the contact, the connection that you have developed with that person and you break up or you separate. Now, oops, excuse me. Now, a lot of people have breakup spells. You know, you break up with someone, you break off that connection, you, you know, you sever the connection. But if you've been with someone long enough and if you've been with someone years and years, you sleep together, you make love, you laugh, you drink, you eat, shower, watch TV together, just doing all those things together, some of your energy is going to be in that person and some of your, some of your energy is going to be in that person and some of that person's energy is going to be in you. It just happens when you're close like that. Now, once you break up, you still have some of that person's energy and they still have some of yours. Now, some people abuse that. Some people use that for their advantage or just to cause you pain. They'll do things like drive by your house at night and you're conscious, you know, you know that somebody's out there. Um, they'll hang out with your friends just to, so your friends will talk about you. Uh, their friends will talk about you. They, they just do things because they know that you're still, they're still under your skin. 
And this sever spell is actually a way to get your energy back and give them back theirs. Now you may ask, how's that going to hurt them? Or how's that going to cause them pain? Why is that dark magic? Because they're not going to be prepared for it. You're not going to tell them, hey, I'm doing a spell to pull back my energy. They're going to feel that loss. They're going to feel that hole in their heart, that hole in their soul, when you take that energy that they've had for so long and you pull it back. Now, there are a couple things you can do with a spell. Once you pull your energy back, you can take their energy that's in you and send it back to them. Or, if you want to be really nasty, you can take that energy from them and send it to back to the universe. Not return it to them, just send it back to the universe. And that way, they're going to have the emptiness and the loss of your energy, and they're not going to have their energy return to them. You've, sent it, you've returned it to the universe. Now again, the universe, the universe will decide what they're going to do. Will they let you do that? Or will they override you and go ahead and return that energy to him or the other person? So that is something else about dark magic. You don't have full control over the spell once you cast it. The universe has control. So you have to be really careful when you do spells like this because... Bad things are going to happen. That's what dark magic is to me. And you have to be willing to accept whatever does happen. It could be ugly. But, like I said, if you do something bad to me, I have every right to retali retaliate or to do something back to you. I don't believe in the old saying, turn the other cheek or whatever. Forget that. You do something to me, I'm doing something to you. That's what dark magic is. That's why I have a dark book of shadows. I think it's okay. Those are my thoughts, my beliefs. I just wanted to share this because I've seen people ask questions. I've seen people confused about what dark magic is. And I just wanted to share what I think it is. Just to give you another thought to go over. Something else to think about. That is my opinion, my beliefs. Like I said, take and do with it what you will. I just wish you will be careful. As always, when you're doing magic, be careful and be sure what you're doing is in your best interest. Like I said, the universe, the universe is going to make the ultimate decision, but by acting or carrying out one of these spells, you're telling the universe, this is what I want. This is what I want to happen. And to me, that's what magic is. You're manipulating, using energy to get what you want. Be it healing, be it financial st stability, be it love, be it security, or be it revenge with dark magic. That is what I've got to say about Dark Magic. I hope you found this interesting. I wish you the best. I hope you never have a reason to use Dark Magic. But if you do, I think it's okay. I think you have every right to protect yourself and your family. So that's my two cents. I wish you the best. I wish you blessings. And as always, thank you.